If you feel like giving up, you have a choice to make. Either give up everything and be normal. Be just like everyone else. Be just like the 99%. Or work a regular job, do regular things, stay in your town, stay in your hometown. Stay at that job that you hate, you know? Keep complaining. Or you can go on and keep going. Get the work done. Don't stop. Don't complain. Wake up and get to the gym. Take your notes down. Do everything you're supposed to do and succeed. And get where you wish you were right now. You know? It's all about perspective. You can think like you already got it. Or you can complain that you don't. And the more that you sit there and complain that you don't, the more that you won't. So really sit yourself down and have that hard talk with yourself. Ask yourself what it is with, that you want most. Is it the approval of others? Is it that new car, that new house? Or is it just that you want freedom? To travel anywhere? To order any type of goods and services that you want? Maybe you want to be able to run a mile in under four minutes. Whatever it is, you gotta think about it. And you gotta be about it. The difference between trying and doing is that trying there's already an idea that you're not gonna succeed. Doing, you know what you're going for. I'm not gonna tell you not to quit. You know, and I'm not gonna tell you to quit. That's up to you. When I was when I was honestly just thinking about what I want to be, what I want to do, how I feel at the in the present moment, especially at the time when I was like just bouncing from place to place, some sleeping in my car, like even though those those situations were my reality I didn't let it get to me you know even though the thoughts the negative thoughts come into your mind just keep it going keep it moving because really the only people that stay depressed are the people that are just sitting around not taking action not taking action is the biggest cause of depression in the world. For real. So, if you wanna, thank you. If you wanna push through, succeed at whatever you're doing, you gotta, you gotta make things happen. Even if it's a little, th even if it's small, like, Make yourself breakfast, you know? 
make yourself make yourself a smoothie do do 100 push-ups you feel me go to the gym that's action that's taking action because everything that you're working towards anything that you're working towards like your body your mind your skills whatever it may be that's taking action that counts as action get up and go for a walk go for a run hit that gym get in the books go to that library you feel me do what you got to do All that counts as action, taking action. And just keep yourself motivated, man. For real. Surround yourself around people that'll help you out with that too, man. You got it. What's up, guys? And I'm telling you, homie, the people that you got around you that really matters make sure they're on the same mission you feel me because the first thing i did was find a team find people that believed in me as much as i believe in myself really and you don't just find them and they're not just gonna believe in you right away you gotta make them believe in you you gotta believe in yourself so much that they start believing in you in you you know Show them the mission. Let them know what the plan is. And if they're about it. They'll join your team. And it's all about confidence. Hold your chin up. No matter what. There's always work to be done. So don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged at anything that's going on. Because things always change. Situations always change. You always come out of things. You're not always going to be stuck wherever you are. Trust me. I'm an example of it. For real. Like I crossed the whole country. I went from... I, went from, I drove from New Jersey all the way to California. You know? What's up, buddy? Just keep it going, man. The journey is not always easy. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. How you doing? It fluctuates, just like the market. The journey always fluctuates, just like the stock market, just like the crypto market. You're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days. But all that matters is how you respond to it. Traffic is so busy today. Well, actually, it's always busy. We live in LA. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, things don't always stay the same. It gets better. Even though, and the funny thing is, just like going back to perspective. Everything is perspective. Everything. You feel me? Nothing. Things aren't always right and wrong, you know? Because at the same time, like, I was going through those things. You know, I was getting blessed at the same time. Good things were happening to me at the same time, you know? I was seeking out opportunities. And things kept getting better for me, you know? because I was taking action. There was not one day where I just sat there and 
cried or sat there. there's nothing wrong with crying either you know but there's just not one day where i sat there and thought why me why this why that you know feeling pity for myself hell no there's not one day that i did that every single day i got up and i made sure i took action and that is that is the reason why i'm succeeding you know every single day i'm getting one percent better that's what it's about just because you hit the g the gym one time you know just because you hit the gym one time does that mean you're gonna get gains just because you hit the gym for a week doesn't mean you're gonna get gains because you're getting one percent better every time you feel me think about it one percent better every time you know thing that you have to think about is you are better than you are today or <laughs> today you are better than you were yesterday you feel me you just got to keep it going just keep it moving it's so hot out here it's hot as hell but we got to keep it moving we got to keep it walking you feel me so whenever you just feel it you want to give up think about it what do you really want to do? Is it worth it just being exactly how you didn't want to be? Doing the things you didn't want to do? Or do you want to hit that that goal of being able to travel travel wherever, however, whenever you want, wherever? You feel me? Do you want to be able to do that? Do you want to be able to wake up and just want to go to fucking the next country for breakfast in your Porsche? Do you want to be able to get on a jet whenever you like, fly to Thailand? Or do you want to just stay at that job, that boring old job, at that boring old firm, whatever you're doing? In that whack ass gym, whatever you're doing, you feel me? And by whack ass gym, I'm talking about personal trainers that don't want to be in the gym anymore. People that that don't, people that want to feel the sun, people that want to feel the air on their skin. I was stuck in a gym for a very long time, you know. I was stuck in a gym for a few years. It was rough because there'd be really sunny days where I'd just look outside. And I just wished I could go out for a walk. But now that's what I'm doing every day. And I have the time for it. It's all about making more time for yourself. The things you like to do, the people that you love. Nothing's going to beat those connections. The connections, the memories. That's what it's all about. It's all about create, making memories, you know? So as much as you can, try to create opportunities for yourself. You know? You work hard to create those opportunities get those connections stop trying to be comfortable take a moment and stop trying to just like be comfortable for real <laughs> for real if you want to go up to somebody and talk to them go up to them make yourself uncomfortable because the more that you feel like that the easier it gets for you the funny thing is like Throughout my whole journey of, you know, my creative journey as a photographer, as an artist, period, you know, I've been traveling and I've been traveling to so many different states and different places to really meet, meet, meet more people, make more connections, you know, get to do different work, get to 
get to shoot different locations, you know, and I, I went through a lot of things doing that. There were a lot of, there was a lot of bull crap, a lot of bull, just a lot of things that went wrong throughout the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of things would go wrong. You feel me? But the fact that I went through those things, it made life so much easier for me because then I knew how to fix that problem. If, it, if that problem came around again, I knew exactly what to do. You feel me? I know how I knew how to handle it. I knew not to get pissed off or angry and you know and just lash out or something. I knew not to do that. I knew to stay calm and analyze the situation I'm in and take it head on. You know? Cause as young men tend to just be hotheads most of the time we don't always make the, the right choice a lot of the times you know but all i'm saying is just really try you know try your best to make the right choice and sometimes the right choice to you may not seem like the right choice to somebody else but you'll know if it's right you'll feel it things will go in a specific pattern in a specific way But I learned a lot. I learned how to stay stronger. I became much stronger through the whole process, you know, and it's still going, obviously, you know, you're always growing. You're always growing. Your opinion might change the next day, the next year, you know, like, so don't beat yourself up about nothing anybody's saying to you, you feel me? People change situations change people always change your opinion will, your your opinion is always going to change maybe you like blue shirts now hey but when you're 65 you might only like red shirts you feel me you might you might not like blue shirts you might not like green shirts you feel me? You not you might only want to wear shorts and flip flops while you were wearing suits only before. You know, people change. So don't beat yourself up. And don't always try to remain the same. That's a that's a little trick that people have played on each other, you know? Thinking Oh well. Let's say your friend is like, oh, you changed or something like that. You know, like nobody's supposed to stay the same, especially when we're young, super young. We're teenagers, you know, teenagers, early 20s, whatever it is, even 30s, 40s, 50s and 60s, because 40s and 50s, you might be 40 years old right now and you're going to be different at 70 years old. You feel me? People are always evolving, and that's the goal in life. In life, you're not supposed to stay the same. Definitely not. No, that's not the wave. Staying the same is not what my goal is, okay? I'm trying to get better, yeah, of course. Well, I am getting better. See that? Catch yourself with those words. Not trying, I'm doing. But I am, I am better today than I was yesterday. I feel better today. You feel me? Change your diet. Change, change whatever you want. It feels good. It feels good to try something different. And most of the time, when you're a young man, the best thing for you to do is to leave your home, to leave your hometown. Even a, even young women too, to be honest. Leave your hometown. Find something else. Find something better. There's always something better. 
always. You feel me? You can get out of that situation that you're in. You can get out of that bad situation and be in a great place. So just keep it going. Action kills depression. Love you guys. Peace.